Dr. Alan Cottle is on the phone with me this morning from Bronson, South Haven. Happy November. Understand November is Diabetes Awareness Month. Can you tell me how diabetes and uh, wound care are related? Most people are well aware diabetes is becoming an epidemic in our country. Basically, uh, 25% of people over age 65 do have diabetes, and it's also related to the uh, increase in morbid obesity. So many of our patients have diabetes, so we have to deal with that along with their wound care. And as you know, diabetes also causes several changes in the body that makes people more prone to wounds, and once they obtain wounds, makes them more difficult to heal. And those changes affect blood vessels, they affect the immune system, they affect the nervous system, and the patients develop neuropathy, which is an inability to uh, feel the feet and lower legs, and that increases their uh, tendency to develop wounds from pressure and injuries. What should a person do uh, if you have diabetes, making sure that you're properly caring for legs and feet? Well, what we do, uh, it's uh, one of our mantras in wound care is treat the whole patient, not just the hole in the patient, and it's fairly simplistic. But I think what a, a person with diabetes needs to do is sort of adopt that that uh, saying, but in, in reverse order. And the, the best thing they can do is take care of their whole body and whole person. And one and several of the things are uh, making sure their glucoses are well controlled. Elevated glucoses have a profound effect on the whole body and many systems. Uh, vision, uh, like we said, the ability to feel, the immune system, risk of infection. Um, they, keeping weight down is very important because a lot of the wounds of the lower extremity and feet are related to pressure. And um, pressure is increased, of course, by increased weight, so keeping their weight down. What they need to do is uh, get a good relationship with their primary provider, and it's recommended they have a complete foot exam at least once a year. It's uh, mandated by many of the insurance companies in Medicare, and that would include testing the sensation. Also, not just the annual visit, but every, vis- every time they go to their provider, they should have their feet checked. And we tell them, even though many of the providers don't like us for saying this, that they should take their socks and shoes off when they go for the visit and at least have a visual inspection of their feet. And specifically, in relation to their uh, foot and legs, they need to examine them carefully daily. They need to check for excess callus buildup, which is a sign of pressure uh, increase. And also, basically, uh, the people that are high risk, we recommend that they get a relationship with a foot doctor or podiatrist and see them regularly because it's shown that regular visits can decrease the risk of foot wounds and amputation. And the uh, high risk patients are ones that have had ulcers before or have a high tendency to uh, have ulcers created. Dr. Fay would find a wound or an opening, uh, would I need some kind of referral to come to the wound center for care? No, you would not. You can call us. Uh, the, um, the number is uh, 269-639-2976. A referral is not needed. You can call with just a question and say, this is what I have. What should I do? We're willing to see anyone. But uh, what we do encourage people to do is call sooner rather than later because in many, many of these, especially in diabetics, as you know, these things can progress rapidly with the risk of infection. So give us a call. Uh, no referrals needed. And uh, that's uh, 269-639-2976, Bronson South Haven Wound and Hyperbaric Treatment Center. We'd be glad to see you and help out any way we can.